Welcome at Green Aqua. My name is Victor Lantos, and we will do some trimming today on this one. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I trimmed this tank two days ago, but I didn't have time to record the intro for that. So, in the meantime, not just the plant got shorter, but my hair too. We match perfectly, right? All right, after this short introduction, let's see what we have here. This aquarium is a 64 liter tank, 60 by 30 by 36, uh, quite of a standard 60p size aquarium. Built by my colleague uh, over a year ago, actually in last May or so in our old showroom. The main goal was that to show uh, kind of a simple minimalistic uh, tank to your uh, visitors. So there wasn't really a goal to do a kind of a, a, a escaping contest tank, but something easy, what you can do at home anytime. We've used minimal plants like Hemianthus cuba, uh, Articularis mini. We also used, at the very beginning, we used um, uh, Rotola macrandra red mini uh, to show deep red uh, small uh, plants in the aquarium. But uh, after many months, we decided to just change it to something easier because that needed much more light. Okay, so going back to the tank, uh, it uh, has a Twinstar 600S light as you can see we have the eheim pro 4 uh, 350 uh, filtration under that pressurized co2 with glass diffuser from ada we have a twin star uh, in the tank a skimmer from eheim uh, we are using aero soft water in all of our tanks uh, in this two and the room is kind of an air conditioned so the uh, water temperature is always below 25 celsius we are using the ADA fertilizers Brighty K and the uh, Step 2 or the new line, the K and the Mineral. Uh, and additional to that, we are using the CK Maxa uh, on a daily basis. We used uh, ADA Amazonia uh, Power Sand as a substrate, also a La Plata Sand. We used Serio Stones for the decoration. And like I said, we used Hemianthus Cuba for the carpeting plants, mixing with the uh, Elocaris Mini. And uh, now we have uh, Rotola SP Green and Rotor Vietnam Agera uh, in the tank. So the plants were really overgrown and uh, we wanted to just cut it back uh, to, to be in shape again. And this uh, trimming session is, is mainly about uh, putting back the, the plants uh, to a shape and uh, and doing a quick water change after that so the whole maintenance will be around uh, 16 minutes or so so please sit back and relax or have a cup of coffee in the meantime so currently uh, i'm trimming down the plants due to a very short uh, height and i try to save the the nicest part of the plants uh, to put uh, this out to a tray, so at least I have a, a visual on the layout and uh, I can work on it later on. It's always a great idea to save your best part of the plant and just put it back to the, to the aquarium to have the best appearance. We have uh, many questions from our visitors that how we reach those deep, lead, uh, deep uh, red colors or uh, special colors with the plants. This is a must to, to reuse the cutting and just uh, replanting to the aquarium. So I did a, a kind of a curved shape. Uh, it's much interesting than just trim it in a line and, and uh, be without any shape at all, you will see at the end. And now I, I just uh, trim out. We had a different plants uh, there. We've uh, kind of uh, using this tank as an experimental uh, thing. And uh, we are replacing uh, plants timely just to, to sh show an example to our visitors. And we also try it ourselves. 
yeah now I'm uh, cleaning up the rich uh, from uh, from the grass it's everywhere as you know in the plant tank even even in the, even here where we don't have any moss at all so with the, with your scissors you easily can remove it on the scissors I'm using the ADA spring uh, tool the uh, the 17 centimeter I think this is the best tool available on the market it's very pricey but uh, you know it's something what you buy uh, once in your life and uh, you will be super happy by that and you will use it with every trimming every planting every of your aquascaping so if it's not your first tank and you you're addicted to the hobby I highly recommend to get perfect tool for you because it's really enjoyable to work with uh, with a pro tool it's super easy it uh, doesn't really have it had a minimal weight ergonomic it's, it's super fine it's very sharp all the time we never need to sharpen these uh, scissors so it's, it's a perfect one there's a straight version and a curved version depending on, on your needs uh, I, I do uh, use both of them Here was the, the replanting part. I usually pick um, three or four uh, cuttings and put it back to, uh, to the tank. It doesn't need to be in the soil because the plant will root itself in the, the bushy, bushy part and then also will root in the soil later on. So it's just a matter of time. Uh, but it's perfectly safe to keep it there. It will not root, it will have new fresh roots and will grow quickly uh, in a week or so. Rotor SP Green is uh, in the meantime is going to the back part of the tank and on the left side. Meanwhile I really try to keep the red in the focus here. So the Rotor Vietnam Agera is something which catch your eyes when you walk next to the aquarium and uh, we will, we will use kind of a mixture of the red and green stem plants to have a great uh, color contrast there. Rotor SP Green, if you're uh, planting to the side, it will lay down uh, to the carpet and will grow very nicely. So I highly recommend this plant even for a small aquarium like this. But uh, we also using this in our large uh, 650 liter tank too. The whole process of this replanting depends on your speed, is around an hour on this tank. I really just uh, cut out uh, every unnecessary uh, video steps here so you can see this uh, kind of a speed up. Yeah, and you know if you're kind of an old guy like me and uh, after some time you get tired, just get a seat and uh, and have a have a desk next to your tank and with the tray you can sit and, and do it really comfortably it doesn't need to be uh, too hard for your back and, and for you at all so one thing when you're replanting these uh, these cuttings i usually separate out the different plants so Rotor SP Green uh, is not mixed with anything else or uh, the, uh, the Rotor Vietnam Majora. You're just uh, using uh, a few uh, cuttings from, uh, from each and, and planting to one position. This will have a better appearance than mixing up and uh, you just plant it in a group. So soon we are getting there where I wanted to be. As you see, I trimmed very low, but with uh, planting back the, these uh, small cuttings, the, uh, the stem plants got already short, like uh, five centimeter or so. Here I uh, hide the, uh, the hole in the center because that disturbed me. So I used the Rotal SP Green. And because of the duotone color, I felt that it's it could be much more interesting. So I used an Aquaflora Limnophila uh, SP Vietnam. This is a kind of an orangey plant and match, match perfectly with the leaf shape of the existing plant. So 
I decided to use it on the back of the tank behind the uh, SP Green and the Rotola Ajara. Again, just using a couple uh, stems here and there just to have a, a kind of a mixed feeling. And you already can see that the, the tops uh, with the orange pinky color that will soften up the contrast between the green and the red and will give a much more natural look. Yeah, this one pot is just a massive amount of uh, plants, so huge kudos to Aquaflora uh, to producing such a beautiful plant. So yeah, we're ba going back a little bit to the light we're using. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's much better than it was before. Thanks, Victor. <laughs> right, so going back to the light a bit, um, this Twinstar 600S is highlighting the, uh, the red color a bit. Meanwhile, uh, the green also looking good. If you are focusing to red plants, uh, a light which is highlighting the red is uh, much more preferable. So. It's working quite well. We are not dimming down this uh, strong light we're using with full power and it works perfect for us here. So now you see I've changed the scissor to a uh, wave scissor from ADA. This is also a very nice uh, carpet trimming uh, tool. And I speeded up the video uh, here to 200% just to, to make it more in, uh, interesting. Actually, it's maybe a little bit more faster. Uh, this aquarium, as I mentioned, is over a year old uh, and in this time the Hemi and the scuba is already starting to, uh, to float up, to, to lift up from the carpet. It doesn't matter what you do, after some time uh, it may be need to be replaced. So I'm trimming this carefully here to avoid uh, that and I'm trimming mainly the uh, foreground part and keep the back the same. It doesn't matter if you, you trim it too much and you will see brown patches here and there because plant will grow back and you also can fix it anytime. I'm trimming the, the, the plants in between the rocks too. The trim shape will, will give them a, a yeah, kind of a, a fixed look, not a neglected one, if you understand what I mean. So now I need to change my hand because the uh, the other part also need to be uh, trimmed. It's very thick on the front. We, we are not sure why, how long we will keep this layout, but uh, in the meantime we wanted to, to, to fix uh, the plants and Give it around for maybe a few more weeks or a few more months, we will see. And then we'll change the layout to something else for visitors' pleasure. I'm trimming the, the grass in the back too, if I do a trimming. It's always a good idea. Uh, you're refreshing uh, your carpet. As you see, the fish is doing quite well, so it's speeded up. Maybe you see, you see them uh, uh, swimming back and forth, but uh, it's really not not uh, not a shocking part for them. Okay, I turned on back the filter and also uh, the skimmer a little bit just to clean up the mess, but I wasn't 100% confident about the the water clarity, so I do a quick. 40% water change approximately. Uh, I clean uh, the carpet part, removing the dirt from there and just making sure that you're not sucking out any of the algae eaters or the, uh, uh, the fishes from your aquarium in the meantime. With a paper towel you can remove the, uh, the plants uh, from your glass easily. So whenever we do water change and if we've uh, trimmed the carpeting plants, we're using the skimmer, just pushing down to the water level. And we're using the skimmer just to, to clean up the surface. Meanwhile, we are filling up uh, 
the water. And this is quite helpful and it's removing most of the floating parts. Now I'm filling up with the arrow water and I will not mineralize, uh, remineralize the water because we have serious stones here which is hardening the uh, water condition anytime and uh, we don't have a problem with the shrimp so it's not really not necessary to put it back uh, GH booster or something like that yeah. and now we are ready with the task skimmer is running, filter is running we're turning on the twin star back CO2 wasn't turned off if it's a problem for you um, because you're dosing too much you can turn it off for a smart tank like this doing a one hour maintenance it, it's not causing any problem so it's not a big mistake if you're uh, leaving this on for that time and for sure please do not change the valve just shut off the uh, the electric valve or just close the tap on your cylinder because then it will be much harder to uh, refine again your CO2 injection if you change the wall position. As you see, the water is cleared up in one hour or two. It's not a perfect cleaning. It wasn't goal to make it like a crystal killer thing. I knew that maybe need an hour or two and the tank will be completely uh, cleared up. So it's fine for now. We will have a maintenance on this tank with the filter uh, cleaning later on. I just wanted to do some water change and some trimming. So now if you go back and see the, uh, the position where we started and see this uh, current trimming, it, the, the tank doesn't need to be look like it's a trimmed tank at all. So that's the main goal. Our visitors uh, always get the best colors from the aquarium uh, this way. So we frequently use this technique. Now you see after three or four hours the tank is completely cleared up. We have a few floating pieces but that's all. It's cleared and it's ready to grow again. Right, that was it. Please subscribe if you haven't done that or click the bell to get notified about the new updates. We will have new video uh, weekly from now so you will see new installations, you will see tank overviews, you will see maintenance uh, tasks. We try to get a brief overview on whatever we do in our daily basis or at least uh, in our gallery and also on our other projects. So thank you for your time guys and see you in our next video.